Hey YouTube, wanted to do a, a 10 year update on my Coleman folding handsaw. Uh, I've used this on camping trips uh, to prune trees in my front yard to remove saplings uh, around the house. And this thing keeps on going and going. And I got it 10 years ago at Walmart for less than $10. And yes, there's a little surface rust here, and I've had to replace the the bolt that was the pivot bolt uh, because it kind of uh, kept on getting loose, and the the nut kept on sliding off the bolt, and it was just because the bolt was so shallow. So what I did was I put a a longer bolt and just a standard nut on the end, but in between the nut and the actual uh, you know the handle, I put a um, a locking uh, washer and so basically it's called an internal tooth locking washer and it provides like enough friction so that nut doesn't work its way off of the bolt and it's been working really good so I, I think that's a good way to kind of fix this problem if you had that problem too that you you'd be like working aggressively sawing a limb and then all of a sudden the the pivot bolt just pops right out and you're like oh man and recently it happened and it, it took a while to find the pieces. Uh, the, the nut and the bolt was in totally different places. And it was pretty much a situation I thought was that I was not going to be able to find either one. But I did. I found both of them. But instead of just keep on putting it back together and hoping that I'll be able to keep finding the pieces, I just upgraded the hardware. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's, it's doing great. And uh, I don't know if they actually sell this same design anymore i do believe they have a newer design but i think it's relatively the same saw it's just a few cosmetic upgrades on the handle and so yeah for around ten dollars would i say that this is a pretty good value i would i would now this is really more of a beginner's level like a kind of like a, a lower quality level overall compared to what's out there uh, but for ten dollars you get a lot of bang for the buck and so if you're new to camping and you just need something to, to carry that's lightweight and you don't want to carry a bow saw, uh, definitely something like this is good. Uh, if you have a little bit more money, uh, you might want to upgrade to something a little bit nicer. For just an example, uh, the Baco Laplander is something that I would probably step into. It's a nice mid-level, mid-quality, you know, folding handsaw uh, that, you know, I really enjoy that. That's a great one. But if you're just looking for something really, really affordable, uh, this is really good. And I, in my opinion, this is a little bit better than like the Ozark Trail folding handsaw. And I, I've seen those for even a few dollars less than this Coleman. Uh, they both work okay, but I just kind of like the Coleman better. And uh, I have friends that have the Ozark Trail. And it, once again, it works. It's just... Uh, there does seem to be a little bit of a difference in quality, not much of a difference. They're both kind of like entry-level uh, folding handsaws. Uh, but this is certainly a good choice if you're not wanting to carry something like a larger bow saw or uh, an axe or something like that, which obviously isn't really like ideal. Uh, even like a, a hatchet can, can weigh a good few pounds. And so if you're trying to like really minimize weight, uh, this is a great option. So yeah, just wanted to show you that these things can last more than 10 years uh, with what I would consider moderate to heavy use at times. And so these things are built to last, you know, I mean, they do pretty well. I mean, they're not like meant to last forever. Uh, I would be happy if I could just get a few more years out of this before it completely falls apart. But I mean, you never know. Maybe this thing could last another 10 years. Now, wouldn't that be crazy? Uh, so we'll see, you know, and if it continues to last in and, and, and 10 years from now, if it's still working, I'll do a 20 year update and we'll go from there. As always, thanks for checking the video out. Catch you later.